saw in some video that you had on your website that it's he's almost unflappable. Like you had trash bags and balloons and you know any horse is eligible to spook at anything even if they haven't spooked at it a thousand other times it's like all of a sudden a puddle is the Grand Canyon. Right, but exactly. he's just, he seems just unshaken by whatever. Yep, so far he's been very brave. He's, he's really displaying those royal bloodlines for us and he's got lots of courage. And how is he as far as training him to do new things? Oh, he's very smart. It doesn't take long. Uh, show him once and you can see the light bulb start to go on. Show him twice. He's calculating. Now you see it in the eyes and by the third time he's got it. <laughs> what do people say when they see him for the first time given that you know, 80% of Andalusians are gray, so he is, I guess, less than one-tenth of one percent or maybe one one-hundredth of a percent. So when people see him for the first time, what, what's the reaction? He's definitely a showstopper. We do get people out on the streets. They'll stop their cars. They'll get out. They want to ask, oh, what is he? What color is he? Uh, some people will confuse him for a Palomino. <laughs> you know, they'll try to guess. Um, no, he definitely turns him to see if he was running he would have been able to see the white here's some footage of two Bria mare your, your box in the velvet, velvet. get the, get the dun mare's attention, attention. If, you if you look at the points, points like the, like the ear rims mane tail and leg color and markings you can sometimes more easily classify a horse's color mother and daughter walk side by side and I can see characteristics of both her parents. Eventually, she will darken into a rich shade of chestnut. Okay, can you name the colors here from left to right? So you choose the blue? Yeah, after the blue is a bit brighter. After all this time... Give me a picture. Why are my bangs so tight today?
Mommy, then? Yeah, I gave everything. Horses. When you think about these majestic animals, you may think about them roaming the iconic American West, their bond with humans throughout history, or horses in the present day. Survivors, partners, and friends. Horses have made their home in North America for quite some time. But do you know the true story of the horse? In evolutionary terms, the ancestors of the horse I actually think very few Canadians realize what a beautiful population of wild horses we have. This population in Alberta is of great interest, I think, to Canadians in that it's one of the few places in Canada that you can come and reliably see wild horses just an hour and a half outside of Calgary. I think that the Alberta wild horses have a very unique look about them. They don't look like any other wild horses because of the, that sturdy, sort of strong, very, very muscular look about them. The Alberta wild horses are of significant importance to our Alberta. As a reminder of the past that we honor, and as an aesthetic that we can't afford to lose. So few Albertans even know there's wild horses in Alberta. It's fascinating, really. 